So my mom and I decided to make this Mother's Day really special, and we went on a big adventure together through Ancestry.com. Look at all this information we found out about our family and our Irish heritage. Even met my great-grandmother for the very first time, and you can check it out right now. It's really powerful in, in looking in a face and, and seeing yourself not only in the past but in the future when you look at your children. Um, there's something really beautiful about that sense of belonging and, and purpose that comes from, from knowing, you know, I'm, I'm part of a family of educators. That is, those are wonderful She's legacies. She's going to make us cry, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Both of us are so I just kind of like staring up. <laughs> this is a really beautiful thing that you have. It's not just names and dates and places, but it's the stories of real people that lived real lives. I always wanted to know if there was anything cool his, historically about our family, you know, that had to do with Irish or war or anything like that. Because I have a real passion for military and I, sometimes I wonder mm -hmm. where that comes from. I don't know, the um, strength, the heroism, um, you know, leadership. I've always been really fascinated by that. Show you. Oh, oh my God! About his life. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Um, this right here is um, part of his Catholic baptism registration in Germany. He was actually born in a little village called um, Klein Winternheim, which means small winter uh, house. And it's this cute little town with all these little roofs that they um, are known for growing fruit and making wine. Um, there are lots of vineyards. It's really, it looks really beautiful. So you guys are it makes sense. To, we love wine. I was going to say, you're going to have to plan a trip now. <laughs> yes, to to definitely. Oh. Balthazar later married and had several children in Klein Winterheim before the family decided that they wanted to come to America. And what we have here is the passenger list. On line 320, it's Balthazar. Catherine is the name of his wife. So oh. this is a family name. Okay, that's wild because yeah. Catherine, Catherine is my is grandmother and that's my first name. Yeah. Right. So then they have three children, Martin, Eva, and Gertrude, and they're all under five. Wow. Oh my so gosh. imagine you have to travel from the south of Germany up to Hamburg and board a ship. And that in and of itself might have taken several weeks. With three kids under five. With three kids <laughs> under five. And this is actually a picture of the ship that they came on. It's Look the Austria. And interestingly, a year after they came, the Austria um, burned at sea. So they say that some hot iron dropped into a bucket of tar and set the ship on fire and 471 people were killed. And so if they had delayed their trip right. a, a little over a year, they might not have made it. Oh my gosh. So, and they picked Wisconsin, which is a common destination for lots of German families. And when they got there, they had a couple more kids. But within four years of Balthazar leaving Germany to come to America, he makes a decision that will change his life and the lives of his children forever. Um, and he made the decision to enlist as a volunteer in the Civil War. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when we found that, mm -hmm. it was something that really was pretty extraordinary. Because here you have a man of, of a family man, of courage to, to leave his home. And he hasn't even been in America five years. And he has six to seven kids at home. And he leaves them to, to go enlist in the war, to fight for the Union. So what happened to him? Yeah, how did so we lose him? We, well, he, <laughs> he died um, later in life. Right here? That first word. Stomach. Really a big. stomach ulcer? No. A something stomach. Above it, it says diarrhea. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I know. Poor, Poor guy. I know. And, but honestly, <laughs> it wasn't bullets that killed these men. It no, was it the water. It was yeah. malaria. Right. It was the food. What happened to his wife? It's, um, Balthazar married three times, and so it's his wives, after he dies, trying to claim his pension, and oh they're kind gosh. of going back and, and that's forth. that's what all this thick file is. That's why it's so <laughs> thick, is because they're all saying, well, we were married, and then someone came back, and they're like, mm-mm, oh. they were divorced. Oh, my goodness. So he was quite the player. He had three a wives. A little bit of a sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, honestly, though, when you think about all of this, yeah. you know, making sacrifices to, to provide a better life for your children, um, 
fighting for causes that are important to you um, in spite of sometimes the really negative consequences of that. Um, these are the everyday lives of people um, that lived hundreds of years ago that really aren't that different from our own. These types of heroes and, and interesting stories um, are accessible to everyone and it's just a matter of looking. You don't know what you're missing until you take a look.